care. Now, News Extra here on KNEB. I'm Dennis Ernest, and we are going to visit with a couple of folks from the Next Young Professionals organization. Drew Luttrell and Mason Stover are here. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. What is going on? Oh, nothing much. We're uh, on June, Monday, June 13th from about noon to 1.30. We're going to have our annual meeting and we're going to have a special guest come in and uh, over at the Harm Center. Um, okay. Uh, we're having uh, Nick Ingersoll. Yeah. Uh, he was recently named this year to the Forbes 30 Under 30. Um, and he's from here, and, right? he's, and he's from here. That's the right. great thing about it. He's willing to come talk to us, and he's a Scotts Bluff High School graduate. Right. Making a big name in, of himself in the marketing world out in California. Uh, right now, he's currently with Barnana. He's one of the co-founders of Barnana, and <clears throat> he's making a great name for himself, and he's willing to come talk to us, not just next young professional members, anyone. He's, uh, we want anyone and everyone to be there. This is one of those uh, 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 terrific success stories with an idea that he and a co-founder, I think, came There's, up with here. There's a couple, couple of guys, yep. A couple of years ago, and it's just taken off like uh, wildfire. Correct. It's it's a great company that he started. Um, it, it's a nutritional snack that uh, people can have. He's he's t- he's taking the second hand bananas, not, not the big ones, but the ones that uh, some of the big companies don't want dehydrates them, packages them, and sells them for a nice, nutritious snack. Uh, and the marketing on this is he's doing some great ideas, and he's willing to come talk to us about where he's coming and where he's going. Mm-hmm. So, again, this is when now, Drew? This is uh, Monday, June th- uh, 13th from 12 to 1.30 over at the Harm Center at WNCC. Cost is free for any next member and their spouse. Uh, and if you're a non-member, which we encourage non-members to come and see what we're all about and everything, it's only $15 to come and uh, enjoy a fajita bar and in- enjoy Nick's wisdom. So, We will have a little board meeting at the beginning, but I don't want that mm-hmm. to scare anybody. We, we uh, want to congratulate our board members leaving and then our new board, mer- board members coming in and uh, congratulate our president, outgoing president, too. So Excellent. We're going to get to sample some of Nick's uh, product? Um, actually, we have ordered a little of his product uh, to show what he's doing, and uh, if anyone wants to try it, they can try it. Yeah, we'll yeah. have a little there. Very cool. Back with more in just a moment. Hey, think fast. Hey, what's this? The solution for your pain. Lidocare Pain Patch? Yep, the only non-water-based patch on the market blocks pain for up to eight hours. So it gives me eight hours of pain relief and stays dry? That's right. It's patent-pending technology, so it really is one of a kind. It says here it's odor-free, ultra-flexible, dry, and light. The Lidocare Pain Patch from the makers of Blue Emu. For long-lasting relief, you can wear. Available at CVS. <laughs> On the News Extra program with Drew Luttrell and Mason Stover with Next Young Professionals Group. And again, to recap for folks who may not be aware, tell us a little bit about the organization. I know you got a meeting coming up and all that, but uh, give, us the, give us the elevator speech for uh, young professionals. Well, we are a dedicated professionals pro- 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 promoting, if I could talk to her straight, <laughs> promoting have growth. A speech, speech and hearing uh, <laughs> Programs too, right? Yeah, we need to work on our, our dictation. Uh, promoting growth in the Western Nebraska, uh, we want we're an organization that gets together um, to help social network for our young professionals. Um, our big things is to recruit, retain, educate, and encourage. We we recruit them, keep them, and keep our young people in Western Nebraska um, to to educate them about how they can get involved. Um, if you get these young, uh, young uh, adults involved, they're willing, more willing to stay. They get involved in the community, and they get in, uh, invest in this community, and that's what we want. Is that the case for both of you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. We, both of us are non, yeah. uh, non-panhandles and come here. And yeah, we've, so we stuck around and got involved in the community and everything. And You get a root down, and it takes root. Yeah. I, I don't think any of us are going anywhere. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, I think that's the... It's the great secret about. I mean, it's not shouldn't be a secret, but it's mm-hmm. it's it is kind of the story of mm-hmm. of Western Nebraska. Folks look at it and say, "Well, that's flyover country," or mm-hmm. "Gee, that's the short grass prairie." I don't know about that. <laughs> and you come out here, you stick around a while, and it's, boy, this is a hard place to leave. Yes, correct. When you yeah. when you set roots and you get invested in this community, 
Uh, you don't want to leave. Yeah. You, you get a vested interest in this community. Well, and to see how the community gives back to everybody, mm-hmm. it, that's that's been a big thing for me. So Yeah. Well, very good. We uh, hope folks will come out to this uh, meeting a, a week from Monday, the 13th, noon to one thirty at the Harm Center. Sounds like a very interesting program with one of our own, Nick yep. uh, Ingersoll, and, and his success story. Well, thank you for letting us come talk to you. you. Thank you. Great to have you on board. Our uh, News Extra program this morning here on KNEB.